Somalia, a country in the Horn of Africa, was at time one of the most peaceful destinations on earth. It has enjoyed political and economic stability with great social cohesion and modern infrastructural development in its biggest cities, known for its longest coast in Africa and the largest army ever built in the continent. But something went wrong and it transformed into a home of anarchy and civil war. Since the regime of Siad Barri was overthrown from power, the country witnessed the breakdown of political and economic structures plus the collapse of social cohesion with the rise of new era of violence and civil war where militia led by warlords were the dominant power for decades to come. Therefore, the viciousness and mayhem has resulted in the death of many, extreme famine and civilian displacement throughout the country. Community Organization for Relief and Development was established in 1994 by a Somali intellectuals at a time when the country was undergoing turmoil and violence. It was founded as an ungovernmental, non-political and non-profit making charity organization intended to provide humanitarian assistance to the vulnerable communities in Mogadishu, whereby its first officially implemented project was feeding the starving folks. Code has also been actively involved in agricultural development in the country, whereby in collaboration with local business groups, they supported small-scale farmers, especially victims of the civil war in Kuryole district, by helping them in land preparation and providing seeds for cultivation. In 2003, court has unveiled Women Development Center in Mogadishu. The center was intended to empower Somali women and provide capacity building programs to reduce illiteracy by enhancing their skills for potential economic development and self-dependency. The center offers various skilled courses that will enable women of all ages to obtain jobs from different sectors in the country. They have the chance to choose from secretariat studies, office management, business studies, or home economy such as tailoring and professional cooking. Courses normally take three to six months, whereby at the end of each course, they receive recognized certificates to enable them pursue further studies or apply to a job opportunity. In 2009, CODE expanded its coverage area to Bari region of Buntulan, where the key target was to help in settling the massive arrival of IDPs from all over the country that came to get refuge from the region. Therefore, CODE, with an outstanding experience in giving support to IDPs, has established an office in Bosaso town to provide necessary humanitarian assistance. Code has also opened new branch of the Women Development Center in Bosaso to help the IDPs in terms of literacy assistance where they provide capacity building programs. Code has therefore formed research team to carry out surveys to identify the needs in the area. The center also holds seminars, workshops and trainings that are held for IDPs and the host community. 
In workshops, CODE provides intensive training courses on HIV AIDS protection and control for the people. The other training that CODE provides is the female genital mutilation, FGM, a traditional practice that CODE has been fighting to eradicate for the past 15 years. Sports is the only true element that unites youth of all cultures around the world. And this time, due to escalating tensions between the youth of IDPs and those from the host community, all residing in Bosaso had to face each other. Unity is needed, and CORD stood up to launch a football tournament which successfully made the integration possible and easier. The current famine in Somalia is one of the hardest hit in the region for 60 years and court took part.